Hi, I'm Gary Warner from the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and I'm happy to have received the J.D. Falk Award for the work that we've done in our lab. At UAB, we have a program in computer forensics, and our interesting approach that we take is we combine the computer science students with the criminal justice students so that we've got a group of researchers who are applying computer science technologies to criminal justice problems. As we're dealing with really big data sets, you know, botnets that have millions of nodes, um, you know, criminals who are attacking people in every single jurisdiction in the United States, but also every jurisdiction in the world, there's a lot of problems that don't really have a good linear solution. What we found is that by applying data mining technologies to these things, high performance computing, distributed computing, we're really able to deal with these data sets in a way that can provide a, a, a true result. At our lab at UAB, we have a focus on computer forensics. And what we're training in the student body is people who are really gifted at cybercrime investigations. Now, while I thought that the lab would primarily service the FBI and federal law enforcement agencies, the same skill sets are turning out to be extremely high demand in the industry as well. What I really like about MOG and our relationship with MOG is that by having the opportunity for our students and our researchers to be exposed to the real world problems of industry, we're able to create better solutions. At UAB, we combine computer science technology with criminal justice disciplines so that our students really know how to bring both sides of the game. We can look at the legal aspects of how do we gather and store and process evidence how do we present that evidence in the courtroom? But we're also applying the computer science technologies to that. How do we do big data, data mining, high performance computing? Because we're dealing with data sets that really have to have that sort of thing if we're going to get the end result, which is to identify and capture criminals or to prevent countermeasures or to provide countermeasures that will allow us to minimize the impact that those criminals have on us. With that approach, our students actually combine classroom time with experiential lab time. We have a 35 station lab that originally was focusing on email based crimes. We've expanded that from beyond just spam and phishing to include malware and open source intelligence in how to track down these criminals that are behind these things. So in addition to their classroom time, the students spend time working in the lab on real cases for our corporate partners and for our law enforcement partners. We have FBI agents and generals and people from industry visiting the lab almost on a daily basis and sharing with the students what problems they're dealing with. And in many cases, such as the relationship with some of the MOG companies, having data sets that come in that we're able to evaluate. When you're building solutions in academia off of uh, the data that we have at the university, you come up with these slanted solutions where you know, a survey of 21 to 24 year old students says, but we really need that global perspective. We need to know what are the problems that industry are dealing with. So when I'm looking at an anti-spam solution, I need to know, is this going to be helpful to the financial industry, to the hosting companies, to the large uh, internet service providers? When we're looking at malware solutions, what does that look like in an environment where you have 100,000 computers? The malware solution we may come up with looking at a single PC just doesn't scale. So by combining our two disciplines, computer science and criminal justice, with the interaction of the law enforcement folks, the industry folks, such as the MOG uh, company members, we're really able to start attacking the problem with a much more informed data set.